folks well today we're going to do the same old uh, low and slow revisit sweep speeds revisit right this is mainly for my mate uh, Jed who's uh, a broad detecting at the moment I'll try to help him out just to uh, listen to like you Jed by the way this is uh, uh, Jeff sorry not Jed don't want to talk about him do it uh, <clears throat> so what I'm going to do Try and show you through both cameras, etc., how to uh, low and slow properly, right? And what I've done, I brought a hammered coin with me, right? And this is going to show you just if you walk too fast, how you will miss, right? And I've even got the uh, Nell Tornado coil on, right? Now, really, to do a feel properly, I should have a bit of string out. But what I usually do is just uh, Michael gate post, uh, uh, fence post, something like that and then go from fence post to fence post or even dandelion to dandelion or something stupid like that but not too big an area I don't want to walk like six miles in a straight line because it's impossible to walk in a straight line you're all over the place so anyway I'm going to put this on the floor right I haven't got my uh, speakers out with me today my headphones sorry so with the aid of this is more on here we should be able to still hear the signals right and hopefully film how low uh, this is so first of all I'm going to go at a, a pretty quick pace right and then I'll slow down to how I detect on a field especially where a field where I know there's going to be hammered found right so we'll just see what the difference is even with the Nell Tornado you can still miss them right uh, so I hope I get this Right, first of all, I'll stick the uh, hammered coin, you can see it there, and I'll put that on the floor, right there, right, can't miss that, now don't forget, I know where that is, I know where it is, right, so's my machine, alright, now, oh god, I've got a signal there, right, I'll have to move that, I haven't brought my spade, they were clear there, right? But the idea is for the hammered, okay? Right. God, I've got one there and all. What is going on? Tell you what, we'll put it in there. get this going right first of all I'm going to extend it so that it's just by my feet god I'm going to have to ignore them signals guys I've not been in this field ever this one up by my uh, house Right, now this is I would not how I would normally detect, okay? Oh, for God's sake, another signal! <laughs> right, I would usually go about that slow, right, when I'm in a field, well or not, there's hammered. Right, there you go. And I've got it. That's a nice 12. So I would dig that, right? Now, Let's say I was going a little bit quicker, right? See, what right over it. Walked right over it, guys. Again, the slow motion method. Some people I've seen are still, still. There you go. Are still walking too fast right another method that I've seen being done is this Jeff you're a, you're a culprit of this one mate okay this is a quite deep machine in it so it'll get stuff but you're four or five inch off the deck mate still get that because it's on the surface 
know what I mean? But you're four or five inch off the deck and another one that's bad is that. Right, so you're actually only getting, let's move away from that hammered. No, I still got it. But it is better to be like that, definitely. But don't forget we know where that hammered is. We know where that hammered coin is. That's iron. I'm going to have to come in here with my spade. I never brought my spade today. But you can see what I mean. If you go in nice and slow, you will get them hammered. Now again, this is on the surface, this hammered. Now with this hammered being on the surface, <coughs> the signal is going to be good. If it was, if it was uh, down deeper, you would miss it. But I'm going, this is, this is about how fast I go, and it's still a bit quick. They reckon in the uh, recommendation in the manual, is um, the recommendation in the manual is four seconds per sweep four seconds that's uh, that's not four foot per second four seconds per sweep hell of a lot of difference so that's how really uh, this is how I detect by the way I detect like this this is this is how slow I go and it works for me folks another good signal I'm definitely gonna have to come up here there's a faint one as well yeah I'm gonna have to come up here with my spade I bet oh no that is a good one Jesus I'm gonna have to come up here with my spade and ask the farmer for some permission because I haven't asked I only came up here for the ba basis of uh, just showing a few of you guys how I normally detect do you know what I mean god these are good signals these are all diggable signals really I'm in the uh, standard in the standard coin program at the moment the uh, default mine lab coin program but yeah that, that's that's definitely how I would detect I'm gonna have a bit of fun I think I think I'll walk I'm gonna I'm gonna keep the mic, mic quiet for a bit right because I'm gonna walk this way I'm gonna just get off lens there I'm gonna walk this way I'm gonna do a bit of special effects I'm gonna be walking this way off the camera it's nearly off the camera now because I'm gonna have myself walking one way and then I'm gonna have myself walking the other way at the same time <laughs> that should confuse a few <laughs> I'm gonna try out some special effects Yeah, so I'm definitely after going to come in here, guys. With but if you notice, right, with me having me um, uh, coil close to my feet, it makes you go a bit slower, and it helps with the balance of the machine. It really does. If you have your coil right out, right, fully extended, right, you're over there now, and if you're walking, right, let's have a look out. Look at the gaps. Right, if I'm walking that. Oh, I got it. I got it. I got it because it's a big coil, right? Let's have another go. Let's say I'm walking fast. Now I class this as fast. Other people I've seen do it. I've seen loads of people doing this. This is how they walk. Oh, just got it again. So that's uh, two, two goes. 
and two hits. I don't know if it helps because I know where it is. Mind you, it's a big coil, like I say, but if you had the standard coil on, there, missed it. I missed it that time. That's not good, is it? I did miss it that time, folks. So you see what I mean? You've got to check in amongst all these. What I like to do is just flatten them down and then go over. I know if there's a thousand of them. But you don't want to miss anything. Don't want to miss it. Why fight, why fight with them? I've seen one bloke doing it on his video and he's going round them like that. What, why? Flatten them. Farmer don't want them. There's another signal. You know what I mean? Flatten the buggers. Get them squashed. Farmer don't want them. Oh, that's a beauty. That's a 12, boys and girls. I'm going to have to mark that. I'm going to mark that with, right, that stone by that fence post. I'll get that again. Yeah, I'll come back to that one. The well, farmer doesn't want to see him in his field. Bloody flatten him and get over him if you're on pasture. Oh, what did I do with that hammered? Started wandering, you see. This is why you need a line to follow. But I ended up going further up there then. But see, I'm coming back to that hammered at speed. Missed it. I'll tell you what, this machine, you don't have to go that slow really, do you? When on the surface. It's on a ploughed field, it might be alright. Yeah, not bad. And that's in the standard coin mode, like I said. They're a bit high then, a bit... Yeah, a bit high sounding. Be good like, I'd still dig them. Do you know what I mean? I'd, just, I'd more or less dig every two-way signal with this machine. Every single two-way signal I'll dig, even, even the ones that I know are iron. Which, lately, I'll tell you one thing about this machine, right? I have found... Oh, another good one. What was it? Yeah, that's a goodie. That'll be foil. You can tell by that sound, even without the headphones on. But I'll tell you now, this machine... Uh, the only iron I have ever dug is voluntary pieces. It does not like iron. I do not do iron. I do not do iron. I've seen one or two people saying it on the uh, videos. I don't do iron. Uh, then they've got like half a tank, half a chieftain tank or something on, on the table. Brilliant. I don't do iron. But even with iron rings and that, this you can tell, you can tell iron. Yeah, so, that my friends, is how I oh, would be detecting normally. That's how I detect normally. <coughs> now, you keep your uh, search head as low to the floor as possible. Uh, Pond Guru, he, he did a brilliant, excellent video showing people how to keep their metal detector head to the floor right so you should be doing that guys read your manuals I don't care what anybody says read your goddamn manuals there's one person in particular looks like a Japanese sniper has said uh, uh, reading manuals is just a guide and only fools follow manuals or idiots follow manuals what a load of crap he talks you don't need to do that guys listen read your manual when it says recommended it means that's what they've recommended because they've had all their testers in the field they've had everybody testing their machines even the, even the lads on the mine lab owners forum they've been testing the ctx and they have a testing team and people have come up with ideas so they add these other things to it and then they put all this literature what these testers have found out best settings for this best settings for that they stick them in there or they make them the default program for the actual machine you're using they don't put default factory setting programs in for a laugh they put them in there because they work and then you can just twiddle and suit them 
for, for where you are. Do you know what I mean? Depending what sort of field you're in. You just, uh, you just, but again, I'd wait till you get used to your machine first. Wait till you get used to your machine and then, and then start tweaking and twiddling. Don't just go straight in. I just, I'm, an, I'm a knob really because I just went straight into it. But I've been like detected for a long time. Now don't take any of what I say as I'm an expert and a guru because I'm not. You know what I mean? Again, there's, there's one or two people on the internet that think they are gurus and I've watched their videos and they're just a load of bollocks. <laughs> you know what I mean? But pe you can pick and pick little bits of information. Some of the information they come out with isn't too bad, actually. But the rest of it, you can just throw it on one side and, and bin it. So, I mean, that's, that's, uh, that's what I do like. Pick out the bits that I want, which is what I'd expect people to do with me with this. Pick out the bits that you want. All the, all the rest that you think is rubbish, bin it. I'm not done, you know. That's what I've been doing with uh, other lads. There's a lad, uh, Neil, low and slow. I've had to adapt his a little bit. I just, like, my head still explodes with his programme. But I can't wait to try that in ploughed land. But then again, I use the G GMP, the Gold Max Power for ploughed land. I think that's a great machine until I try this. This was for the beach, and I've been having problems with the beach, as you know. But... Do you know what I mean? This has been finding me them. This machine has found me them. Going low and slow, that's what I've been finding, right? There is the proof. On fields, on fields, that I've never found them uh, that in that quantity before. So, what can I say? That, that's, that's it. Even with that larger coil, that larger coil does pick out between crap. Do you know what I mean? Just at the moment, I don't seem to be finding anything in fields that I think I should be. Right, so I hope that's helped a few of you out. I should have brought my spade, but I decided not to bring my spade because I'm a tit. And I've got some good signals there, but then again, I haven't asked the farmer for permission. All I did was, uh, all I did was uh, <clears throat> just get my gear and that, and I thought, right, I'm going to do a bit of low and slow. Show, just show people how slow. For me, mate, it's my mate, uh, Jeff over in uh, wherever he's detecting for World War II relics. All right, folks, so I hope that's helped. I just wanted to have a, I just wanted to have a mess with the camera, really. I'm going to do... Right then, jobs are good in. I'll never forget that first day at pit. Me and my father worked a 72 hour shift and then we walked home 43 miles through snow in his bare feet. Huddled inside his clothes made out of old sacks. Eventually we trudged over hill until we could see street light twinkling in our village. My father smiled down at me through icicles hanging off his nose. Nearly home now lad, he said. We stumbled into house and stood there freezing cold and tired out, shivering and miserable in front of meagre fire. Any road, my mum says, cheer up lads, I've got you some nice brown bread and butter for your tea. Easy, <laughs> father went crackling. He reached out and gently pulled my mum towards him. Big road. You big fat idle ugly wart, he said. You great, useless, spawny-eyed, parrot-faced wazzock. He had a way with words, my father. He'd been to college, you know. You've been out playing bingo all afternoon instead of getting some proper snap ready for me and this lad. He explained to me poor little purple-faced man. And turning to me, he said, Arthur? He could never remember my name. Here's a for crown. Nip down to chip oil and get us a nice piece of haddock for us tea. Man cannot live by bread alone. <laughs> you were a late day to me, father. He said.